I'm very lucky to have General Yao here with me to talk briefly about China's role uh, in the rules-based international order that we've been hearing plenty about in recent months, um, particularly in the context of, of what Trump and the US is doing uh, to that order. Can you see a positive role for China in contributing and possibly changing the rules-based order so that it works better for all of us in the future? Uh, China, I think, is a very uh, complex, complicated question, the rule-based international order. Uh, for China, uh, such an international order is a good thing. If China does not is not opposed to this rule-based order. For the, f for the last four decades, China has incorporated it itself into this rules-based order. And traditionally, Chinese people are very comfortable with rules. Uh, if these rules are uh, the, the, the consensus, the uh, norms of life, uh, there would be no question for uh, China to confirm to. Um, but uh, as you mentioned, that the rule-based order has been frequently mentioned in uh, government documents, in, in high official speeches, and uh, maybe more recently, it refers, it, it reflects the concern that the order which has been created and uh, led by the United States is cracking somewhere, uh, and also. Uh, for the last few years, uh, a few years, China has been more or less blamed for a, for for being a violator or disruptor of this rule-based order. I think it's very um, modest of you, and you talked about modesty in China's foreign policy and really in in China's way of looking at the world. And it's quite modest to say that China needs to obey all of the rules and that they can't always obey the rules. But of course, in the future, I think China will and should be playing a part in making the rules, not just obeying them. Yeah, I think China is a major player, not only in the Asia Pacific region, but also in the world. And they are already established rules which are not all of them justified to last for such a long time. And not only China, but the United States and Australia, they need to update these rules. And in the updating process, China has a role to play. And also there are new fields, new domains, where no rules have been made so far, like cyberspace, like artificial intelligence, the technology which is going to be applied to many aspects of human lives. So this, in this field, China is a big player and China should have a, a, a major role in the rule setting process, not only as a rule taking mm -hmm. uh, player. I share your cautious optimism that China will play a positive and constructive role in the future.